What's up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Boat Show with a brand new episode and first of all let me say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to all of you guys, let me know how are you spending the Christmas holidays, what are you getting as a present or what are you giving your family as presents and I'm at my girlfriend's house as you can see we are spending Christmas together but I still want to make some videos for you guys because I just absolutely love making videos and if you appreciate that smash the like button. I will try to make as many videos as possible here but of course family comes first and also really looking forward to the Premier League games after Christmas, uh, the Boxing Day fixtures and of course just two days or three days after we are playing Man City at Anfield, what a huge game that will be. Paulo Dybala and Kingsley Coman are back from their injuries, Coman is our top scorer. Oh, here we go, boys. Swansea against Liverpool. You know, guys, that Swansea is my second favorite team in the Premier League, but no friendships here. We need the, the three points. Oh, go on. Oh, go on, come on. Surely, come on! Yes! What a start! Kingsley, come on! A man in form, a man on a mission. What a pass that is! And then his sheer pace, nobody is catching him. And he has the finishing. Doing well to keep the ball. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Moreno just went through two Swansea players. That's surely a yellow card. No card. He cleaned out two Swansea players and that's not a yellow card. What the hell? Oh, go on, Dybala. Bang. Oh, saved. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Willems. Ooh. Ooh, that was almost there. Oh, please. Oh, Dybala. Oh, what a run. And this smashes it home. Oh, oh Paolo Dybala. Hey, hey. That is an amazing goal. He couldn't even be tackled. He smashes it into the top corner. And after that, he's taken out, but I will take it. What? How is that an own goal? Are you mad, EA? Are you crazy? Oh, no. No, Moreno, don't do this! <sighs> so close. No. Oh, no! Karius! Hero! Watch this world-class save by Karius. That was going in the top corner. Yes! Dybala picked up a knock, I hope it's not serious, he just came back from his injury and I'm making other substitutions as well, Danny Ings coming on and Mane and yeah, as you can see Dybala just stood up after being injured Go on Great cross! Ha <laughs> ha! It's free! It's free there! Oh Kingsley, come on! He's our top scorer, what a new signing he has been! Fantastic cross, and that's a lethal header. No. Oh! Oh my god, look how open they are. Go on, come on. Come on, come on. No, I could have sweated it. I wanted to get Kingsley the hat trick. Great save. Oh no, oh no, he's in. And Karius is equal to it, what a goalkeeper! Kingsley, come on, what a signing he has been! He should have had a hat-trick today. Really unlucky that Dybala didn't get his goal. It was given as an own goal. But overall, a very commanding performance. This is how we should play for the rest of the season. Great attacking football, solid defensively. These are the young players that I'm training at the moment, McDonald. It just went up to 71 rating, he's another very promising young player and Lynch also went up to 69 rated, Gomez and Ojo are improving nicely as well. Arsenal dropped points again which is great news for us but Crystal Palace keep on winning, they are joint top amazingly, what a season they are having and in real life they are struggling bad time. Alan Pardew just got sacked uh, yesterday and Sam Allardyce got appointed. It's just amazing how this uh, managerial merry-go-round happens uh, every season in the Premier League. And let's see our title rivals, Chelsea, Man United. 
are below us. Tottenham in mid-table, Man City climbed out of the relegation zone with their first victory, but still Man City are in a terrible position. And if we beat Borussia Mönchengladbach at home, we have one foot into the next round of the Champions League and this competition is very important for me. I'm fielding my second team in the Champions League because these guys have shown me that they are good enough, they can play here, they played two games so far in the Champions League, they won both. In the knockout stage, of course, I will play my strongest possible lineup, but we have some amazing players in this team. Welcome to our second, sorry, our third Champions League game of the season. Gabriel! Oh, come on, Ojo! Ho ho! Shady Ojo! What a goal! Oh, that is fantastic strike! This is why I trained Ojo's finishing, so when he finds himself in this position, he will be lethal in front of goal. You cannot let Ojo there. Bang! Oh, it looks like. Oh, that's a pen! What? <laughs> that's, that's just so stupid from the Michael Glover player. He just absolutely clears out Gabriel. All right, Gabriel, come on. Come on, smash it home. Yes, what a confident penalty. Absolutely lethal. And I'm improving with penalties, as you, as you can see. You guys helped me that I should turn on the arrow. That is great. Lethal. No. Oh, I thought that was going in. Oh, no. Oh, no. Donnarumma, you hero. No! No! What a goal! I lost the ball in my own box. Don't you hate when you want to pass the ball first time and your player takes a touch? That's what happened with Flanagan. I played the ultimate prayer price, but what a finish. Go on, Murphy. Come on! Oh no! Oh, what a pass. <gasps> no! What have I done? Oh my word, what have I done? It's level. How did he take that down? Oh no. Go on, Murphy! Ojo, oh, come on! He has done it! Our Joe makes it 3 2! Yes! The sheer persistence, the sheer will to win by Ojo, he somehow gets the goal ball back and he smashes it home. That's his second goal, he's a great finisher. Let's bring on Brennan, Vina, Doom, and Emre Moore, some young players who need to some playing time. Oh! Oh, Flanagan. Oh, oh, Flanagan. Uh, oh, no. You kidding me? No way. I can't believe it. A deflection in the last minute. No! So unlucky. Unbelievable. I can't. Have you ever seen a more cheesy goal like this? It hits the back of the head of, the, of his own player and goes in off the far post. It was a brilliant game. I really hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed it. Incredibly unlucky goal to concede in the 90th minute. As you can see, I had 10 shots, they had 6. I'm not too bothered about the draw, we, I think we still can go through. Zenit St. Petersburg smashed Rapid win 5-0, but we are still in a very comfortable position. And to be honest, if we win 2 of our last 3 games in the group, we should win the group. It's just a shame, because had we beaten München Gladbach, I think we would have been pretty much through already. Galatasaray and Rangers at the moment in pole position, Napoli need to win some games to go through this is the group of death Real Madrid with the perfect three victory eight goals scored zero conceded and Benfica at the moment are better than Inter and Monaco but anything still can happen Dortmund and Chelsea I think they will go through very interesting group as you can see and Leicester City 
are very very close to Olympiacos and Sporting Juventus I think will win the group and I really hope that Leicester can make it to the knockout stage it would be just amazing Stoke City have beaten Barcelona what <laughs> this is the FIFA career mode for you that blows my mind Barcelona at the moment are second Stoke are pretty much through to the next round what an amazing ride it was not e not only to finish in the Champions League places but to actually qualify to the next round that would be an amazing achievement Man United I think we will win this group Wolfsburg and Roma will battle out for second place and Bayern Munich lost two of the first three games that's very unlike them they need to improve a lot if they want to qualify and yeah these were the Champions League groups so really excited to record more videos for you guys during the Christmas holiday period. When I'm back home on the 25th, I will make a lot more and a lot longer FIFA career mode episodes. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, guys. Stay awesome. Goodbye.